remotely operated door locking system for home. How often have you wished you could engage the dead bolts of the main door of your house after going out? Because the normal locks are not safe and are relatively easy to pick for the dexterous and technologically savvy thief of today. And because you can lock all other doors from inside but not the front door. Despair not. This project is about developing such a remotely operated bolting system, using the readily available car remote locking system, with the addition of a few other hardware. The Genesis. I have been toying with the idea of developing a remote locking system using the car remote for long. In my case, there was an additional requirement to reinforce the front door of my home, since it was a 3.5 feet wide door, and not too sturdy. It flexed quite a lot when the top bolt is engaged, and the door is pushed at the middle or the lower part. When you apply a load of 10 kilograms, the door deflects almost 20 millimeter. The car remote locking system is not too costly, and is reliable and repeatable, and cannot be hacked easily. So, the first step was to procure a system and test it for its suitability for the job, especially with respect to the force that can be applied to overcome the friction and inertia of the tower bolts. Obviously, the tower bolts are much heavier than the car door locking system. So I decided to invest rupees 3000 on the Autocop system for Alto Car. If the idea did not work, I could always use it as spare for my Alto Car. The Autocop Guardian G2160 can operate up to 5 actuators for central locking, remote locking, and keyless entry. It has all features of a standard car security system, like auto lock, vehicle search, tamper protection, volumetric protection, immobilizer etc. However, I was going to use only the remote locking and door switch. Proof of concept. A mock-up of the bolting system was prepared using a slightly heavier bolt to ensure sufficient margin on force, and was connected to one of the door lock actuators. The entire circuit for one actuator was connected and powered by a 12 volt supply using the domestic 230 volt AC power. Since the stroke of the actuator is only 15 mm and I needed a 20 mm movement of the bolt, there was a need to amplify the motion by a ratio of 3 to 2 using a lever, which reduced the available force by the same ratio. The lever also helped in having the correct direction of actuator movement, since the system would return to the locked condition if the remote key is pressed accidentally. It was planned to have three such locking bolts, two operating horizontally, one on top and the other at the bottom of the door, and the third bolt in the vertical direction close to the top bolt. Design of the door reinforcement and integration of the locking system. As mentioned earlier, there was a need to reinforce the door. The design considerations for the reinforcement and the locking system were the following. 1. The design should be such that it doesn't drastically affect the aesthetics of the door. 2. The grid should be strong but not too heavy, overloading the existing hinges of the door. 3. It should not interfere with the existing locking system consisting of locks and tower bolts, or magnetic catches in the open and closed positions. 4. The possibility of mounting the sliding bolts on the reinforcing structure rather than on the door directly to be considered. 5. There should be minimum rework to the door and frame. 6. Maximum usage of available materials. 7. The issues of misalignment, positional variations with weather etc. to be taken care of. Keeping these in mind, a welded reinforcing grid using 20mm steel square hollow tubes was designed. The locking bolts were to slide in the bushes welded to the grid. The welded grid was fabricated at a workshop engaged in grill work. 
this and the brackets on the door for receiving the tower bolts were the only items outsourced. All other components such as brackets, push rods, levers etc. were fabricated in-house using the tools shown. There was a need to rework the wire linkages supplied with the remote lock kit, to suit the lengths at each bolt. These linkages were reworked by cutting the links, bending, and making fresh threads. The welded grid weighed around 12 kilograms. Once again, the working of the locking system was checked on a mock-up with the grid and actual levers and bolts. Next, the grid was fixed to the doors using a number of wood screws at the junctions of the grid. The actuators, levers and bolts were then installed on the door and the grid. The brackets for receiving the bolts were fabricated out of steel angles and bushes. Two sets of holes were provided on the two limbs of the angle, to ensure a strong connection to the door frame. Appropriate grooves were made on the door frame to mount the brackets, so that there was no obstruction to the operation of the door, and ensuring that the bolts moved freely. Electrical system. 12 volt supply was tapped from an existing power supply and backup battery of a security system, which was already available near the front door. The cables provided for the automobile system were too long, and were trimmed and rejoined to make the system compact. The wires were routed through the hollow square sections though this was a bit tricky, since some of the joints were blind, because of continuous vertical members and had to be drilled open laterally. But this ensured that there were no loose wires hanging around. The incoming wires from the controller were routed through casings fixed on the door frame. performance of the system. The system functioned satisfactorily in the first attempt itself. There were a few issues like correct alignment of the bolts with brackets etc. which were tackled. Because of the high inertia of the moving parts, the lock was operating with a bang, which could in the long run, cause problems. Therefore, damping was provided at the end of the stroke by placing rubber pads on the frame under the lever. Though the deflections were not reduced much, the grid provided safety against breaking through. Covers made of matching plywood were provided over the actuators to enhance the aesthetics, to keep the dust out, and to prevent meddling with the system. Backup System The reliability of the system is of utmost importance, especially, since it is going to be locked from outside and would necessitate breaking of the door in case of any malfunction. So the system has to be guarded against failure of any of its constituent system slash components. The failure modes could be of mechanical, for example, excessive friction or failure of any of the linkages, electrical, power supply, actuators and wiring, or electronic controller and remote switch. Therefore, it was essential to design a backup system. This was done by making provision for operating the locks mechanically through steel wires which operated the levers of the locking system. Brass pins from electrical lamp sockets were remodeled and attached to the levers to run the cables through them. Piano wires were used for this purpose. Sufficient slackness is provided in the strings so that they don't affect the normal operation. The other ends of the three strings were terminated in an accessible, but camouflaged location, which, of course, 
cannot be revealed for security reasons.